Hey, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name's Chloe, and I hate shaving my armpits. Yes. It just hurts, my armpits don't like it, they rash, they itch for like the, the next two days, and then when they start growing through, they start itching again, and they're just really red, and just, no, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just leave them, I'll just leave them. So today, as you know from my last video, I'm doing a what I'm packing for my holiday. Right now, as you're watching this, I am on holiday. I am in sunny Portugal. I'm sunbathing and I'm just loving life. So I thought today I would show you what I am packing. We are, well, I am using a smaller bag because you have to pay £50 to take your big bags. So I am going to have to pack light, which is really annoying because I am not a pack light kind of person. But I have tried my best and I'll show you what I have done in this video to ensure that I will have enough room in my bag. We live in Wales at the moment and we're flying from Birmingham and we're flying from Birmingham at 10 past 6 in the morning. We cannot get a train from here in Wales to Birmingham for 6 o'clock in the morning so two days before the holiday we're going back to George's parents who will then drive us to the airport. George's parents also have the bags we're going to be using so we're going to pack in one bag, take it to George's parents and then pack again in the bags we'll actually be taking. So that is why I can't actually show you me actually packing because I cannot pack it because I don't have the bag right now. That is why this is a bit unorganised. Also I don't have the little travel see-through bags with the see-through bottles yet so don't worry, I'm not going to try and take all of these... Oh, butterfly. I'm not going to try and take all of these products with me fully in their bottles and then obviously have to get rid of them. Don't panic. Okay, so first of all, the outfit I'm wearing right now is the outfit I'm going to be wearing to the airport. Basically, I wanted a jumper and some jeans, but I also didn't want them to take up room in my small suitcase. I'm going to be wearing these and my pink sliders. I'll probably be wearing these. These are from Primark. These were six pounds and I just love them. I think they're real cute. And I really like sliders because they're really easy to put on and take off. You can get your feet wet and it doesn't matter. You know when you like put wet feet into like trainers and stuff and you're just like, that does not feel nice. And then I've got this pair, which are really cute as well. They're see-through and white. And I've got these as well as those because these obviously I can wear literally well, in the sea. I'm going to be wearing one because I'd like to pack another pair of shoes. I'm not sure what yet. I don't know whether to pack some trainers or some heels. Probably going to go for the trainers because I do think we'll probably go for like walks and stuff. So my swimming costume, you've seen this already. This was in the Primark haul with the bottoms. Very, very cute. And I have another swimming costume, but it's not come yet. I ordered it on New Look Sale. I'll add a little photo of it here. It's a velvet pink swimsuit, and it comes, like, high up here, which is really nice, because then I can get that tan in. I've got that, like, sarong-y thing that you guys saw already that I'm going to use as, like, a wrap when I come out the pool and we go somewhere, like, really quick. For some reason, three dresses. And I don't know how, because I bought two new ones. So I was like, okay, I've got two, that's fine. But then I've got this one that I really want to take because it's really thin and it's really beautiful. So I've got that one and then the two I've already shown you, which is the tan kind of Pocahontas vibes one. And then I've got the long stripey one that has the slits. I think this will be nice to wear to the beach. And then I've got three tops. So first of all, I've got this green, very short crop top, spotty. It's really cute. I've had this for years. And then I've got this top as well. This is another crop top, but this one's a bit baggier and it's got like a flower detail at the bottom. It's really cute and it's like a, a powder pink. But then I also have this top, which is from New Look and it's very flowy. It's got like two layers. And then I've got two pairs of shorts. I've got this first pair, which look really big, but it's got like a tie up belt that you can like cinch yourself in with and then it's really flowy. My rule was no black clothing because black as we all know attracts the heat. If I wear anything black I'm gonna get hotter than I am so no black clothing that was a rule for me. And then the shorts I've already shown you from Primark. But then I'm also going to be hacking this also showed you this, this is my Flamingo inflatable, which is real cute. I cannot wait to get some Instagram pics with this. And then I've got the toiletries. So like I said, I haven't got the see-through things yet, so don't worry, do not panic. So first of all, I'm taking some moisturizer for like when I get out of the shower, and this is my favorite moisturizer ever. It's the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush one, and it has like a really nice lime, citrusy smell to it. It's really refreshing and beautiful. My favorite thing about this is 
it makes my skin really soft and it also makes my skin shiny. And then for my face, I'll be taking my number seven micellar water. This is for oily skin. It does what micellar water does, but I just, I, I feel like it does really help with the oiliness on my skin. My holy grail, my pixie glow tonic, which you can see is literally almost empty. I will be buying a new one of these before I go. This is literally just one of the best things that have ever happened to me. This makes my skin look beautiful. I've also got my eye cream. I wear this every morning and every night. And then after that, if it's daytime, I'll be taking my number seven day cream, which again is for oily skin. And this has SPF 15, you know, an extra protective layer and also keeping my skin hydrated. If it's nighttime, however, I'll be swapping between these two, which I do on a regular basis anyway. Either the Nip and Fab Glycolic Fix and then an oil next. And I know in my pit box <laughs> unboxing I said I weren't going to take this, but I have been using this and it's actually really nice. And then obviously at night and at day if I'm not wearing makeup I'll be putting a lip balm on, but that is in my carry on which you saw last week. That's my Carmex strawberry flavoured one, it's got SPF 15 in, that'll be fab. For makeup, like I've already said, I will not be wearing very much makeup whilst away because one, it's just going to melt away anyway, two, it's just going to take up room in my bag, and three, I just don't need it. I've got my Gosh foundation in porcelain. The reason I'm taking this over my pure one is because my pure one is quite thick. It's a higher coverage. I will just want something light to cover a bit of the redness. And then obviously to blend that out, I've got my little Tarte Quickie Blend. And then I've also got my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This will just be, this will not be, you know, I won't be there going under the eyes and all that, I won't be doing that. This will literally just be a little bit under the eyes and on any pimples I have, if I have any. I'm hoping by then I won't. But that's literally all this will be for. Or this will be for on the days when I'm not even gonna wear foundation. This will just be on like pimples and stuff. So there's that. Then I've got my LA Girl, LA Girl Pro Conceal in highlight and I use this as a cream highlighter. I've got these two and these will be doubling that's two things. This is my contour, and then this one, the MUA Velvet Lip Lacquer in Tranquility. I've been using as a blush. I'll be taking my Sweet Peach palette, and this is because it's the smallest palette I have. Also, I feel like with the different shadows in here, I can create endless looks. Not that I will, but if I want to, because that is my favourite part about makeup is eyeshadow, so I couldn't not take an eyeshadow palette. With my eyeshadow brushes, my top three are my Morphe G17. This is my fluffy brush, which you see me use all the time. Again, with the Morphe E18, my crease brush, brush you see me use all the time. And then just this flat brush. And then also I'm taking my Morphe concealer brush, which is the B19, and that's just to put a bit of concealer on. <laughs> some eyelash curlers, and that's just to curl my lashes before putting some mascara on. I won't be taking this mascara. I wanna buy a waterproof mascara, and that's because on a day-to-day -day basis, I probably will be popping on a bit of mascara just to Look a bit more awake, and then the same with my Wonder Brow. I'm taking Wonder Brow because this is also waterproof. I can wear this in the pool, I can wear this in the beach. Does not matter, they will stay. And then the only like toiletries I have are my body wash, which is the one I got from my pit box that you saw. And then I've got my shampoo and conditioner. Again, these are from Superdrug, so they're vegan, they're cruelty free, vegetarian, and all that jazz. So that's everything at the moment. There's just all things that I need to get that I haven't shown you yet that I will be taking, and that's a toothbrush and toothpaste. I want to buy a waterproof disposable camera. I feel like I don't have a lot for who I am as a person. I usually, even when I go home for a weekend, I take a massive weekend bag and it just hurts my shoulder the whole time and I'm just like, why did I pack so much? I'm gonna say it again, even though it'll be no use to me, but comment below things that you usually pack, things that you can't live without, and just let me know because I'm nosy. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.